Scorpios, this is your July 2018 monthly reading. Please check your sun, your moon, your Venus. See if it connects to you. If not, then of course look at the other readings and see if there's a message there for you. The special this month, because a lot of people ask me to bring it back, we're going to do the personalized monthly reading. This one is general. This could apply to hundreds of people. So the personal personalized reading is just for you. We're going to do 10 minutes, $10. It will be uploaded to my booking page July 1st, and it'll be ready. All right, Scorpios, let's see what July has in store for my Scorpios. Scorpios, da da Scorpios. Oh my gosh, why, Tanya? Why? Scorpios, July 2018. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see. Woohoo! Moving forward, some of y'all are going to be getting some new wheels. Mmm. Eight of Fire. So let me show because I get I forget YouTube and I got to show the cards. The Will. Eight of Fire. Queen of Air. Five of Air. Seven of Water. Queen of Fire. Hmm. The Chariot. I heard card before I even saw the card, so I'm glad. Nine of Air. Two of Fire, the Sun, let me get it together, Ego, Page of Water, Six of Water, everybody has somebody coming back, Nine of Water, but y'all might actually be happy that they're coming back, Queen of Earth, Justice, Three of Earth, some of y'all are winning legal cases, Seven of air, and at the bottom we have seven of earth. Unnecessary worries, slight pauses, but things working out in your favor anyway, which could go with this justice card, which means that some of y'all are going to be bringing in some money from a court case, from something, settlement, something you've been waiting on is going to be coming through. Let's see. All right. Now, before I even saw the chariot card, I heard wills, driving wills. Now, with the will card, the will of fortune, this is about making positive changes. So a lot of you Scorpios have come to a point where the obstacles or the blocks that have been really, really slowing you down are moving out of the way and you're moving forward. Some of you are actually going to get a car. You're going to get a vehicle. Now, I do see with Eight of Fire next to it, it's showing just exactly what the will card is, that whatever was delaying you or holding you up, you're about to get this big rush in July where everything is like whoosh. Like you wake up and it's like, okay, I'm signing paperwork for a car. I wasn't even looking for a car. Or this situation fell into my lap. I wasn't even planning on doing this. So for a lot of Scorpios within July, you're going to realize that a lot of things are going to kind of drop in your lap that you weren't even thinking about. And it could be really, really good for you. So keep an open mind about it. If you don't need the car, you don't need the car. But if it's nice and shiny and the interest rate is low and you can do it, why not? Right? If spirit gives it to you. Now, what I see with queen of air next to five of air, some of you may be having some issue with an air sign person, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Now, it could be a Libra. You know, we like debating. I know a lot of people say y'all like arguing. We call it debating. So for some of y'all, y'all may be debating with an air sign person within July. Now, I do see that I feel like there are some conflicts or obstacles that maybe you need to look at from a different angle. And it could even be with this person too, because air signs tend to be very direct and sometimes not the most tactful. So I feel like for some of you, it's going to be hard for you to see a different perspective of this because you may end up getting... I don't want to say your feelings hurt because I don't really feel like Scorpios do get their feelings hurt. I feel like you can snap back too. But I do feel like you might be challenged by an air sign person coming into July. But I already I feel like <laughs> you hold your own. Some of you are going to be like, what the hell? 
there's something that you want. There's something else that's going on beneath the surface. You're, you're causing this, all this pettiness, but I know there's something else going on and I'm going to find out what it is because crazy can match crazy, right? So for some of you, if you're dealing with somebody and they're causing this, this, this pettiness or these arguments out of nowhere, check their agenda, check their motive, because I feel like there's something behind it. And some of you are going to be like, mm, yeah. I'm on to you. So do your research a little bit. Look deeper into this person. With the five of air next to seven of water, this is really about having to make a decision about something and procrastinating or maybe overthinking it. You know, you're in your head about it. You know, should I handle it this way? Now, if somebody's disrespectful to you, like I said, Scorpios, whether it's too kind, the ones that are strictly evil and the ones that are nice. There's no in between with Scorpios. So if you deal with the, <laughs> I always tell people if you deal with the wrong Scorpio, expect to stung to get stung to get to get stung. Let me let me get it together. You're gonna get the stinger, right? So if you are coming across somebody, I do see that there may be a conversation, and you feel like you got to give them the stinger. So be careful with it. Try to look at it from a different perspective if you can. If you can avoid the argument, you should. If you're a Scorpio that does not want to avoid the argument and you like to debate like an air sign or like a Libra, then yeah, it may be head to head. And this could even be somebody too that has a little fire to them. So they could be dominant. They could be trying to dominate a situation or they're very opinionated. Um are controlling with the way that they talk and i can see right now that if this is for a particular person you refuse to be dominated you refuse to be spoken to in a certain way so handle your business stand up for yourself if you need to now i do see for some of y'all if it is within a partnership or relationship i do see that there is a point of putting your foot down and handling your business but then you're thinking okay is this the right thing to do did i handle it the right way because with nine of air this is about maybe overthinking the situation like i said before or second guessing the situation you know did i handle it right should i have said what i said now of course be mindful with your words um because once you put them out there you can't take them back but if somebody's coming to you and they're challenging you they're going to get god that's all it is to it for some of you i just see that you're just like i'm done i'm done if this is a romantic relationship with a fire sign person or an air sign person and there's constant arguments or butting of the head some of you scorpios are like i'm done i'm done i'm gonna watch you I'm going to make sure that you don't come back on me, but I'm done with the situation. Some of you are just like moving out of apartments, out of houses. You just don't feel like there's any more of a connection. You're looking for a different type of partnership or a different type of connection with somebody. So some of you are like, I'm leaving. I'm walking away from the situation to find my own thing. And with the sun card being next to that, it is showing that for some of you, this is actually better. You may decide that, you know what, the environment that I'm in doesn't work for me anymore. I feel like I'm stressed out. Like I got to keep coming at people and telling people what I want or what I feel. And some of you are like, I just don't want to do it. Some of you too, you got to be careful that you don't stay stuck in a situation that's negative or unhealthy because you don't want to have to deal with it. Um, like I said with Scorpio, sometimes you get you get one that's really, really biting and you get one that's, that's you know, they want to save the world. It just really depends. And so for some of you, I feel like there's this big need where it's like, okay, I do love this person. I feel like I can stay and help this person or I can nurture this person. Be really, really um, careful that you don't stay in a situation because of codependency because you feel like you're the only person who can take care of this person or you're prideful and you're like i'm not going to let them walk away because it's going to make me look some kind of way if it doesn't work it doesn't work but i do feel like for some of you there is this fear of letting something go that's unhealthy because you're like okay am i going to find something better or is this the right thing for me to do Make sure that you take your time with the decision because in the end, it is your decision. But it is showing that for some of you, you're not going to want to leave somebody because they're paying the bills 
or you're splitting the rent at an apartment and you don't want to have to pay full rent where you're going. For some of you, money is going to be the factor why you stay. Material things. If I leave or if I walk away from a situation, my lifestyle is not going to be the same. So I'm going to stay in a bad situation that I feel uncomfortable with that maybe I have arguments with somebody with because I don't want to be on my own. That's a horrible reason to stay in a relationship. I get it. Money. A lot of people, two, yeah, two incomes is better than one. But if it's not working, you might want to walk away because I see for some of you, this could turn into a really volatile situation where two people are putting their hands on each other and it could get out of hand. So be careful with that. Now, for some of you, you're going to be meeting up or hearing from somebody from your past in July. And it comes on the hill of maybe walking away from somebody or a bad situation. And all of a sudden, this person pops up and you're like, oh, you saved me or this was the perfect time and I, I, I've been thinking about you and I feel and I realize I want to get back with you for some of you it, it just it feels like you for or where it's like okay yeah this is it this is the right time be careful take your time with it especially if you're coming out of an unhealthy situation for some of you this person from the past could be a cancer Pisces Scorpio person a water sign person or they could be an earth sign person, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So for some of you, this is a rekindling or a reconciliation with somebody that maybe is coming in, the timing is right, or you just feel better around this person. They're healing you from something that you're walking away from. Um, like I said, take your time. Even though I see a lot of happiness for some of you, for some of you, I feel like you're not healed. You're not emotionally healed. To walk away from something and walk right into something. So like I said, take your time. Now, for some of you, I do feel like you've been working really, really hard. Um, and going into July, you may have some family members, some friends, maybe even a partner that feels like they're not getting enough of your time. And they want more time. So be mindful. If somebody's asking you to spend a little bit more time with you or they're trying to get your attention, it's because they need it. They feel like they need it. They feel like maybe they're putting in something emotionally and they're not getting something back so if you're dealing with somebody where you know you give them a kiss in the morning and you go work 14 hours and when you come home they're already in bed and it, it, it replays over and over again and then this person is looking at you on saturday like what are we doing and then you go i'm going into work and they're like mother rucker because i'm not supposed to be cursing y'all for a little bit and oh i miss it but you could get somebody that's like okay you're not making time. You're not making time for me. So I do feel that there could be some conflict with that going on in July where somebody is like, I need you to be available for me. If you're not, I kind of see that their back is starting to turn, which means that maybe they're getting to a point where they're feeling comfortable about walking away from a situation. Now, this is a general read. This could even be you too, where you feel like I'm not getting the attention that I need I think I want to walk away and somebody from my past is trying to hook, hook up with me. They're, they're messaging me. They're calling me and I feel like I might want to give this person a chance. Be sure that this is what you want before you walk away from a situation. Make sure it's what you want. Now, some of you are going to be dealing with a legal situation where there's a fair decision coming and it may have to do with money. Like I said, it could be some type of settlement um, inheritance. Uh, I just feel like maybe something you've been anticipating and you've been waiting for everything to work out so that you could get exactly what you need. It looks like it definitely is opening up and there's some check that's going to be coming to you in July or August um, that will help you pay off some debt, help you pay off some bills. Some of you are going to use this money to go back to school. Some of you, I feel like you're going to invest this money and start a little business or a little side thing. Um, to bring in more money. I also see some of you definitely this summer are meeting a new person that maybe sparks your your interest where you may want to um, explore something new with somebody. Like I said, take your time with it. You know, if you feel the love vibes, definitely go for it. Don't rush it, but make sure that a lot of things that you've gone through within this month and maybe even early July, you kind of worked your way through and you feel like you want to move forward with somebody 
if you rush it with seven of air, it's showing that maybe the timing may be a little bit off. Maybe you're not exactly ready. Maybe the person is not exactly in a position for this to be a full-blown love relationship. But it looks like it's something that starts off with two people really kind of getting to know each other. They're vibing on each other and it feels good. If the timing is off, it doesn't mean that this won't happen at some point. It just means that either it's not the right time to start the full-blown thing or you got to take your time with it to, to get there. So for some of you, if you're opening up to a new love relationship, like I said, enjoy. Enjoy the day by day. Get to know the person. Don't start shopping for the bridal magazine or looking for apartments You know, after the first date. Give this a little time to unfold. Now, I do see, like I said, money coming in. Some of you might be getting a new vehicle. Definitely see some type of conflict with an air sign person. Could be a fire sign person, too. But I see some of you are going to walk away from it. You're getting on your feet. You're moving forward. Your confidence is up. You're looking for something else. Some of you, you're definitely caught in codependent relationships where money is an issue. And that's just going to be something that you're going to have to work through in July to figure out if this is really where you want to be or do you need to go ahead and assert your independence and step out. Whatever it is, I feel like if you don't do it in July, it's going to move forward into August. You're going to have to deal with it anyway. So Scorpio, handle your, biz your business, okay? Love you guys.